Today I'm listening to From Ashes to New Cover of uh, Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. Coming up next. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video where I listen to your favorite songs for the first time. And we all know this song every year from November 1st to January 1st. It's played a million times a day. Listen, I got nothing against Mariah Carey, but this song is annoying as heck. It's actually really cool. I shouldn't say that. I've never heard the From Ashes to New version, but I do really like From Ashes to New. They're such a good band. They're like the best thing in Lincoln Park since Lincoln Park. Anyways, we're going to get right to it. You know the drill. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't liked this video already, like it. Let's go. There is just one thing I need I don't care like about the presents DJ Underneath the Base Christmas Christmas tree. Oh. Okay Oh, that little harmonic Oh They're so good That harmonic's nice Christmas. There is just one thing I need Christmas tree. I'm loving that. Oh, I'm rewinding. I'm loving that Tom work there. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. That's nice. Got a bracelet. So let me also stop it there. You actually hear the guitar in the back as well is is doing a really, really nice lead melodic, um, kind of almost like a, a Phil Collin from Def Leppard feel to that. It's very, very nice. I want to just go back a few seconds there. It's so subtle in the background, but it's there. And it pushes this all forward. It's nice. Guys got range. My guys got range. That's nice. And yeah, no. Okay, so now we're into the 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 second verse here, leading into that pre-chorus, and. It's a little bit heavier. Again, it's it's progressive. It's pushing the song forward. So before I made that comment about having that like interlude kind of guitar feel to it, uh, with like just the background is super subtle, got some tom work going, but it's not really in your face yet. Now we're starting to get a little bit more in your face. Now we're starting to get a little bit more aggressive. And now we're starting to get a little bit more um, pushing that song forward. Very smart recording, very smart um, songwriting on their part. And this this is just mixed so great. Like it's, it's so, um, his vocals are just on point. Uh, I would love to hear a rap. I would love to hear a rap. I don't know if I'm gonna hear a rap, but I would love to hear a rap. But his vocals are on point great range uh, and just everything is kind of flowing and it's really really a good cover nice shot, bro. that's nice that's real nice oh oh that was high Oh, give me the rap. Oh, okay. I like that when he's when he's singing air, how he brings that down, um, and sort of like a descend. Another thing I just want to say, I'm very impressed because, and maybe my opinion doesn't matter as far as being impressed, but. Mariah Carey is not exactly an easy singer to copy. And not and they don't even copy her. They actually make this song completely their own. But he's hitting those notes. And he's doing a lot of really cool vocals here in this in this song. I just want to rewind it and, and when he says, is it in the air where the lyrics are? Listen to that nice little descent here. Oh, that's nice. 
They're so good. Even like it's softer, but there's tension. Something's gonna happen. I love that. so good just to say from ashes to new i've got introduced them what last last year year and a half ago and i started off with like i think panic uh and then i just i binged them they are such a good band um and they've had two lead singers i believe only two and both were great um obviously this is the current singer coming up in the song here and or not coming up i guess we just listened to it i love 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 their musicality i love Everything they do, they they are so good at meshing. They're very uh, maybe I'll get in trouble for saying this, but they're very new metal because they mesh so many different forms of of music together. And it's very hard to do that without sounding trash. Like it's very hard to do that without sounding annoying. You know, you got a little bit of like uh, electronics in there. You got a lot of heavy metal in there. You got screams and in other songs they have rapping. And I also just found out that Nightmare, which is one of my favorite songs by them, uh I actually thought it was only one scream or one screamer in um in in the bridge, but they actually battle back and forth, but I didn't even know that. But I saw it live, and I was like, that's unreal. It's super cool. Very talented artist. And it's very hard, very hard, very, very, very difficult to do a cover of a Mariah Carey song. They absolutely nailed it. They made it their own. They didn't just copy it. They literally made almost a whole new song just with the same melody. Unreal. Great work. Absolutely love them. That's all I got to say. Until next time, take care.